Hey, this is Dave from Retire Time Productions, and I'm back with an update to the Mini Talon Build Series. I just got in my right wing, had to just go ahead and buy one from Banggood, had trouble with Gearbest getting one for free and warranty, so I just bought one. But I've made some updates to this schematic right here, and I want to go over the wiring diagram again with the wing included. So let's get started. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. So now that I have both wings to go with the demonstration, I'll show you how to get the Y splitter cable connected. So the Y splitter cable goes on channel 1 on the APM. That's the servo output channel 1 right here. And then you can see that the right uh, V-tail servo goes right here on channel 2 and the left V-tail servo goes here on channel 4. So back to channel 1, here's the Y splitter. It comes off, splits, and then goes to both of the servos on the right and left wing. And you can see that the servos are just flipped over. One goes this way and one goes that way. And that does the reversing. The servos themselves actually rotate the same way. In other words, they're both clockwise servos. So when I activate this channel 1, it actually moves both servos in the clockwise direction. But since they're flipped, it moves the ailerons in opposite directions. So that's the magic. The servos are, are just flipped over according to the manufacturer's design. The holes are already cut that way, so they point opposite directions. So that's how that works. There's no programming to it. There's no special wiring. Just put a Y splitter on and connect it to channel 1. As far as the rest, I still have my UBEC here powering the servo bus and it's right here and it's wired into the power module. I just soldered it on the output of the, po the power module. And then over here I have my PPM connection to my Easy UHF receiver and then you have the GPS and compass connected here and then over here in this white plug is where the minimum OSD and the telemetry radios would be plugged in but I removed the wire and then on this first analog output right here it's called zero actually that is where the airspeed sensor would go on so that's all the connections and I have updated this schematic right here and I'll put a link to this under the video but I've updated it this over here to show how the servos are connected and I've changed this area here too but you'll see it on the schematic since I'm only using a four channel light then this is only going to have four outputs right here and you can look at my previous videos on how to set up all the electronics and program it if you want to know the specifics okay I've got the radio connected and you can see everything initializing here when you first turn on the APM it goes through a little initialization process you can see this control surface moving on the V-tail as it's initializing well once that's all done then you can go ahead and fly I just wanted to show you how the control surfaces work right now and you can look at my previous video on how to program the V-tail setup so right now if I move the ailerons you can see them moving opposite directions right here like that and if I go this way nothing happens with the ailerons but you can see the V-tail moving up and down to control the pitch of the plane and if I remove if I move the uh, rudder stick over here you can see the V-tail reacting as a rudder now if I put the flight mode from manual into one of the automatic modes like stabilize or fly by wire A could be used as well now when I move the ailerons we also get a little counter deflection on the V-tail and that's all in my previous video where I showed how to set up the V-tail and add a little mix to it so that's all in the instructions that I that I showed you last time so that's it for now I just wanted to do a quick video concerning this right wing and how all of the uh, connections are made on the APM and uh, 
just leave any questions you want under the video and I gotta ask you this do you want me to go ahead and do a really detailed build on the fuselage or would you rather just have sort of a periodic update on how I'm doing so you can let me know on that I've taken a lot of time so maybe we ought to go a little faster now and just get the build over with but it's up to you let me know we'll see you later Take your flight.